Hello and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Build. Now I'm going to be doing Rick and Morty's house. Um, for those of you that don't know Rick and Morty, it just seemed like a good idea. I'm going to put it in my Springfield anyway. Um, but I didn't have enough time to talk to you at the beginning of my videos, which I notice uh, is a lot of my problem often enough. So anyway, what you want to do is use some smooth sandstone. And you want to start building a driveway that is 11 wide and 10 in depth. The depth doesn't matter too much, I've just gone for 10. So we're going to transition into it now, where I've already created the base. And as you can see, I've gone 10 in depth. And in the middle there, there's just on the end of that, 9. So I'm going to grab my pink clay and I'm going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to place my white clay over the top. And this is just basically, uh, just for me, it's a very unconventional build. I was stuck in the hospital last night with my son and started building this on my pocket edition. <laughs> now it is a little different. So anyway, we're going to step in with our light grey and then our dark brown clay. I'm going to do one light, three brown, one light, three brown, one light. I'm going to do a full row of light grey all the way across and then repeating the process again with the light grey and then the brown clay and then once again on top we're going to do a full row of light grey so anyway you'll notice I've left a gap there in between my white clay and it's one two three from the end and the reason being is because there's a sort of like a too high window there and I'm kind of trying to go off my plans from last night so I'm going to build one higher than what the garage is already. So your garage should be four blocks in height. And now we're going to start pulling this back and we're going to try and keep it even as much as possible. So uh, this is a really unconventional build for me. So anyway guys, we're just going to line it up with white clay all the way up for the, the last remaining blocks. And then we're going to build one more up and then start dragging across the front remembering to step inside the actual garage itself and as you can see I'm going to start dragging my dark oak steps across the outside just to really so I remember um, yeah but anyway I was in hospital for the last couple of days with my son um, I was sat there and I thought you know what I could be doing something and instead of concentrating on the Skinner's uh, principal Skinner's house ended up actually making Rick and Morty's and it was mainly just because I seen it in pictures and I just thought you know what even if I can't get it spot on that's still gonna be a real nice house it's different and I like different so I thought I'd stick it in my Springfield because it's nice to have a bit of uh, filler in there as well so anyway guys now you can see I've come round onto the end of my wall and added one on the inside uh, one on the outside and then one outwards and I'm just going to place another block on the top there so I can start dragging my roof around. Now the reason it was important for me to do this is because everything comes down to the roof. So I, I've got to find my middle point of the roof so I can then start turning and knowing that the other half of the building will then fall into its own size, if that makes sense. You find the middle of the roof and then from that middle down, um, obviously the garage can stop and then the other half of the building I know is then big enough as well to support the roof and actually hit the center point of both roofs. So it's really unconventional build uh, the way I'm doing it, but it will still turn out the way I want it. It's just upside down, you know, if uh, we're starting with a roof rather than the bottom. Kind of crazy or sounds crazy, but it will be totally worth it, I'm pretty sure. So anyway guys, we're gonna build up three rows um, two rows of the white clay on top of the garage and then we're going to go up with our light grey wall um, it was the best colour I could find to match what I could see in the picture and like I said we're just going to create that pyramid size until we end up with our one block in the middle now guys I can't tell you how long these garage, uh, the garage roof is just yet like I say I've built in 10 uh, I've obviously added an extra block to the other side just to make sure it's all even but I can't tell you no more than that because it all depends on the roof the roof has got to be done right and then you find your center point from the roof and work out your dimensions from there I, I know it's all uh, backwards but it's got to be done this way unfortunately or at least it was the easiest way for me to do it anyway 
So as you can see guys, just dragging my uh, my stairs around and really just making it corner level by level, dragging it around, trying to find that center part of the roof. So anyway, my next stair, and then for the last one, I'll use a slab. And for this, we are using our dark oak or the, the pine wood, whichever one it would actually come under. I get really bad at that. Dark oak, sorry. Yeah, so it is dark oak. Uh, I really should learn the names, but for me, I just look at the colors and think, yeah, that'll do. So, there we go. We're using our dark uh, oak for the roof. And like I say, on that very center one, we're going to start using the slab. And as you can see, I've swung it around the corner. So now we know where the center is for our middle part of the building. And we also know now that all we've got to do is drag this uh, garage back to that center point there. Now I'm a little bit confused with the back of the house, I can't really work out how it all places together but this is my version so I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> Sounds quite bad I suppose but um, yeah I'm going to try and keep it as accurate as possible. I am missing windows, I can't quite place the house all together inside um, but from what I can see on the outside the front will look pretty outstanding and the back we're kind of have, gonna have to make do. I know the wind, uh, the double doors should be this end, with also like a like a, a smaller roof. So I'm gonna flatten off this wall all the way to the top of the middle of the the roof, and then carry on that side of the build. And the reason now I'm now adding on one, two, three, four, five, six, six onto the end is just really you just got to match it up to your center point of the roof. So wherever your center point is, you are right where you're building to. So like I say, two in from there, we're going to put these two glass blocks in. And right where our red clay ends, rather than our white, we're actually going to stick some white wool up and it may not stay it's just to remind me that there is a fence to go there and in the middle here of both the gray and the white clay we're going to put up uh, six blocks of white wall three on each and i'm just going to dual layer my stairs just purely because i prefer the roofs looking like this I, I don't like sharp edges and then for the middle we're actually put two slabs in rather than just the one so you can go ahead and add an extra one because it will make it look so much better. So anyway, as we come round, we're going to look at this window and I'm going to chuck glass block in for now. Um, I can't tell you how it's going to stay that way. That's just purely to get that little bit out of the way so I'm not thinking about that either. Okay, so we're going to concentrate. Uh, this should be like a basketball hoop here so I'm just going to chuck that extra block in there and now in the middle of this you just want to punch out the middle one on the bottom and put in orange wall and once that orange wall is there we then use the trap door uh, just so it's hanging down and I want to experiment and see if we can hang anything off that trap door itself or build something up to it um, but we're, we're, we'll do that at a later point I was just literally chucking this in there while well, I've got the idea to do it So guys, you will notice we're going to change over to a different clip now and it will show that in a moment you can see that I've already built it once and the reason being is because at one time I had the roof slanted and then I then changed it to flat because I could see it in another picture that it is flat. Um, so I just thought, okay, we're going to, like I say, I'm just going to do it my way, my version, but at the same time I'm going to keep it as accurate as I can. So I'm going to start building this up now. I'm going to start coming to the top of the roof, uh, like so. And I actually put on an extra block on the end of the wall. Now I will try and remember to write down the, uh, the dimensions in the description. Um, if I don't, please just chuck it in the comments. Say, look, you know, I'm struggling a bit with dimensions. And I will try and add, well, I will add them in there. Um, so anyway, you can now see we've built all the way across and my starting point, which I probably should have said, uh, or ending point is where we've already started the wall from the last one. So it'll be the side of the wall, the one in. 
So we're matching it up to the garage, remembering that is the back of the garage wall. And that's the way we want it to stay. So now I'm adding an extra block on, which will now make it the two at the front. Uh, or the one at the front, sorry. Because we've only built up to the edge of the garage itself. The only reason the corner is there is so that we knew where our roof was going to go. So I'm just going to place my stair there just for a moment and that was really just for me to find out where my centre point was here. So now I'm going to start building my white stained clay and start placing one step at a time as I'm going down. And the reason being is just purely so I could find my place as I was going along. So placing my stairs again. So now we're starting to see where we're now going to have our back doors going out onto the like patio area of the back of the house and I'm just going to now start blocking this in a bit and we need to add one more and then one more layer of uh, white stained clay and then an upside down stair and now we can just start pillaring it in because we know now that is the side of our house so we know our garage we now know our centre and all that leaves then is the big part of the end which will be in part two so for now we're going to start building the actual patio sort of roof and we're just going to take it from the edges of the roof coming back to the edge of the garage roof and now I'm just going to build it out one more and then I'm going to do it another time just to really pull it out that little bit extra so anyway guys sorry for the rush video um, it wasn't planned it was just I was building it in uh, the hospital and sort of just thought to myself <laughs> the baby deleted my file and it's all I've been thinking about ever since <laughs> because I already had most of it built and I just thought what a waste you know it, spent the time on it to get it built so I thought get on while it's still fresh and start building it back up so as you can see I'm starting to layer my uh, my roof now and the reason being is just purely we can't finish the center until we know where the door goes do we know where the window goes but we are starting to find our dimensions to start fitting them in so by the end of this episode we will know where the front door goes the front window um, the sort of porch roof will be there and this roof will carry on along until we're at least one or two blocks away from the other part but I do want to look at some more pictures really trying to find the back of the house um, it's really not simple you've got views looking out at the garden or out of the double sort of patio doors but apart from that I can't really find anything and I'm sure there's two sets of patio doors rather than the one so anyway guys from that corner of the garage we're going to build four in and then we're going to leave a space of four so one two three four and then we're going to build four across so that we know that our door can go in after the four across and we can also add a row onto the inside of the window just below the stair as well so here we go we're going to add my one under the stair there so it's now too high the same as the other one on the other side and we're going to just use our glass blocks just to chuck them in uh, even if it changes we prefer panes in the end we'll use these for now I'm just going to use this orange wood just as the window sills um, because I don't quite like leaving all the detail off but really you can concentrate on that uh, in the next part really rather than this one so I'm just going to add on my extra block to make it now four in length this side of the window and it's now four in length four as a window four in length again ready for our door to go in and at the moment the door is actually only two wide I am thinking of making it three wide but I will cover that in part two as I start to really get a depth of the build all together. So 
So guys, for now, I'm just going to have a little play around with this roof at the front here because um, I want it as good as possible. Um, I am going to shorten it only to one out rather than the two um, because I really don't like it uh, uh, too in depth. And to be honest, if I could, I would lose the blocks out of the middle as well. But um, it just doesn't look right without them or looks right with them. So we will work with that and try and get it looking that a bit better um, obviously I'll play around with it for a good while until I'm happy with it anyway so I'm pretty sure you'll know it will get done <laughs> so guys I'm just gonna chuck in a dark oak fence on each side making it look like it's propped up and bolted into the wall means now we can add our extra block the other side of the door like I say I may end up making it free wide there is another reason for that and that's to make this roof um, actually free wide and I'll keep it to the size of the door meaning that the middle one will actually be a slab and we have a, a bit more option with the wood on the inside now I tried everything that's too small for the block on the inside um, for me I, I don't know I just got to do away with these ones and stick to the one in depth for now I think. I was say sorry guys I, I did record me playing around with it but honestly it goes a lot deeper than what you think. I've remade this video three times and I've already built it, well not fully built but m quite a big part of it we wouldn't have had the problem I've had today um, because now I'm trying to find my original idea. <laughs> but. Um, basic build is still there, it's, it's the way that I built it there. I knew what materials I was going to use straight away. Uh, hence the grey and brown as a garage door instead of white, purely because I wanted the build to be that colour. So anyway guys, I've reverted back to how it was, with the two in depth and the blocks in the middle, but I know I'm not going to quite keep it like a... Um, purely because I don't like the stairs having that really awkward edge to it as if it's non-existent so I'm going to punch away this one at the back oh wrong one and I'm going to place uh, a full block of the dark oak slab and the reason being is just so it doesn't look off in any way but obviously still keeping it the right height as to what the build should be itself So guys, like I say, I'm going to be building Skinner's house uh, very shortly. It will be done quite soon. I've made a space for it. Uh, really, it could be anywhere within this map. <laughs> so I didn't have to try too hard. But yeah, it will get done. Uh, I am sorry I've been a bit slow. Um, my son with asthma at the moment as well really isn't helping the situation. Obviously, you, you can't avoid it. It can't be avoided. So... The builds will get done as I can, I mean, <laughs> only a couple of nights ago I had a, quite a good night getting them uh, Minecraft story out, uh, some of the Lego dimensions I've been trying to get up as well. Uh, at the same time I'm still trying to, I'm st constantly thinking of new builds to do, um, I really want to try and get a lot of this Springfield done, the regular show project done, and Radiator Springs, and then like I say this house sort of pops into my head while I'm in the hospital. <laughs> And this is really what happens, I end up getting ideas, I want to build it there and then. Um, everything's got to be put on hold until I build the idea that I've had. And then I can go back to my other ideas, just really trying to <laughs> do it like that. So anyway guys, I'm going to drag this brick all the way back to where the frame of my door is. And the reason being, I don't know why I keep saying the reason being, that is a really popular word for me at the moment. I have no idea why. So I've added an extra block just so I can add an extra one over here. And I'm just going to build it up. And because I don't know where the windows actually go, I know the patio doors go where the patio is. Um, but I'm going to leave space for two more windows exactly the, the same size as the ones in the front. 
by the ones in the front I mean the big one next to the front door and the reason I'm thinking is because of the kitchen you might have heard me almost go to say that exact thing again see so, yeah so we've got enough space for a kitchen window or whatever these rooms are at the back so it's going to be four so as we go in we've already got one block one two three four five okay now I'm thinking so one two three four five six seven and then I'm gonna punch out one two three four so I'm now leaving one two three four on this side and then four in the middle and then I want to try and find another four here leaving the three blocks in the middle so anyway guys that may change I can't be sure because I'm still learning the build as I'm going along like I say that hole there will actually be the patio doors whether they actually function as doors so I'm gonna stick a piece of fence here and we're gonna have to stick another slab on the top of that just to really match it up and when I decide to match up my fence by stepping in <laughs> so I'm gonna place another slab on here and that is done like I say the patio will go over there and there's nothing we can really do here without actually spoiling the build so I'm going to leave it the way it is and on part two like I say we should know exactly where our windows go in the back but we can also concentrate on getting the second part of the build done which will then complete it all within the second half so anyway guys thanks for watching please join me again for part two and we will be getting back onto them Springfield Springfield builds very shortly